Here's a little tip for cooking Mountain House biscuits and gravy. Don't follow the instructions exactly. After you add the boiling water and let it sit for five minutes, stir it and let it sit for 15 minutes. It'll be much better than what the instructions tell you. Took a little hike on the Overlook Trail here at South Yano River State Park. More of a morning wake up hike than it is much of a view, but you do what you can. I am attempting to fly fish for Guadalupe bass at South Yano River State Park in the South Yano River a week before the end of February. I have not seen any sign of Guadalupe bass, but we're still giving it a shot. I camped here last night, arrived late, like 9.30, stayed at the walk-in sites, had breakfast this morning, and then I moved over here to this uh, little lake on the upside of the state park upstream and uh, see if I can catch a fish and shortly and then I'm moving on to the Frio River and Garner State Park so I'm gonna get after it for a minute been using this white streaked sparkly weighted minnow. I think I'm going to try the chartreuse because I got a little tug over there under that tree. Chartreuse in black. Same colors more or less of the Guadalupe bass. Day one on the Frio River. I had a number of little trout hit a particular fly that I think I bought off of Amazon. When I looked at the fly, finally the hook was blunt. So it doesn't work very well. I will try it again tomorrow. It's a beautiful day, not many fish.
Day two at Garner State Park. I've put up camp this morning. Had a banana for breakfast. And now I'm hiking, wading the opposite direction from yesterday to see what uh, the Frio has to offer. I believe it's a little low, but it's a beautiful river. I haven't seen any trout in it above more than seven or eight inches long, but we're just going to have a look-see and try to have a good time this morning. I finally got lucky enough to put the Klauser minnow, chartreuse and black sparkles uh, right in front of a fairly good sized trout a couple of times and he wasn't interested in it. So I'm gonna try something else. The Frio is so clear and in some places deceptively deep that I can see where the, the trail, the fish are traveling, which is new to me. I know some of the people are the fish on clear rivers are used to that, but I am not, so that's certainly exciting. Well, I've done plenty of fishing, and now it's time for some hiking. I'm currently going up, ascending on the Bridges Trail. We'll see what I find. This one's got me breathing hard. It's hot up here. I could have edited out more of this action camera footage of these trails, but I wanted to give a good view of the terrain of the trails and not just the views, and what it's like to hike these trails. Plus, I like it this way. In case you're wondering, the action camera is mounted to a clip mount on the left shoulder strap of my backpack. So it moves around quite a bit. And later, you might even see a few beard hairs in front of the camera. Baldy hike. Woo. I've done tougher, but it's tough today.
Wow. <laughs> well, that was worth it. How are you? incredible up here if there weren't all the houses there's a the river out there that was not that difficult here I am Top old Baldy, Garner State Park. See the flag? You're almost there. 
It's pretty fabulous when you get there. <laughs> Little snack before I continue. I don't see people with a lot of water or snacks out here. Well, White Rock Cave Trail, There's a lot more up. Whew. It is a day of up. I needed that though. White Rock Cave, okay. That's awesome. Oh man. There you go. It's vandalized in here, but sure nice and cool. Considering it's not even March yet. It's getting hot out there. I'm gonna take a break. Another view. I'm still going up. Crystal Cave. I'm going to admit, I was pretty tired by this point. It wasn't the miles 
but it was a lot of tough elevation for the day. Garner State Park is a rough hike. I loved every minute, but it's a rough hike. Finally, Crystal Cave. Oh, look, Jesus is coming. But Elizabeth's already here. Awesomeness. Crystal Cave did not disappoint. Uh. Except for the graffiti. But, you know, humans will be humans. I'd say that's going to wrap up this weekend. It was a fabulous weekend of learning fly fishing. I learned a lot. I didn't catch anything, but that's fine. It's late February and not really that time yet, but I got some good uh, good practice in and taught myself some things. So, and then the hiking. Wow, that was uh, that was a hard four miles. <laughs> 